Jamaica, I remember. Sunday evening breeze, rice and peas, roast pork and chicken curry. We change from our Sunday school best. Frill socks turned so delicately down. Bata cha cha cha. Soulfully brushed to sparkle the crepes canvas, perfect white, grinning in the Sunday evening light. We pick up a canteen thermos. Four medium-sized tin can hooked together, swing upon each other like a Jacob's ladder. Parboil and red beans, chicken back in yellow grease, okra, ground provisions. Dinner for granny, auntie, cousin, lovey, Hilda. Down the lane beside Philippa Baptist Church, Friend Street Corner, Spanish Town, close to Russian shop, cross from the Chinese man store, where the East Indian family grows Kalalu next door. <clears throat> so abundant tall, the Guinea tree shadows, ever blooming limes and a small Susumba grove, through banging broken wooden gate where the cistern hides, its pipe drip. Drips, drips, dripping. No matter how hard you tighten the trick, lock it off slight, just right, slow down, quiet, tip away, oh, sh, 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 sh. Or else it pours again to dance brush green, slime oh so lazily on the iron gray of the system's concrete. And we children, one by one, get our hugs from granny, auntie, cousin, lovey Hilda. Half blind, love some, a no tooted smile. Soft wrinkles jiggle and ripple and spark to laughter. How granny, auntie, cousin, lovey Hilda got her name? I couldn't say, but it seemed to have spurted and spurted with her age. We light up her day, her very existence. We think her grand aunt with a proper G, our granny, auntie, cousin, lovey, Hilda. Not connected by blood or marriage or relatives in common. She was only a woman who way back when, a child in my grandmother's childhood, made blood by passing time. Made blood by passing time.